Hey, Chuck Vosberg here, working on our rental rehab again, and uh, today is painting day. So yesterday I sprayed the exterior of the house. If you've got a house that's uh, got an irregular surface like this one does, it's definitely better to spray it if you have a sprayer, or you can even go rent one. Now, spraying does take a little bit of practice, so you may want to roll it if you're not comfortable using a sprayer but this went really quick and easy but I'd like to talk to you today about one thing that most people have difficulty with and that's cutting in so let me turn this thing around here oh won't turn around okay we'll just do it this way but uh, I've been cutting in here and uh, just finished this this trim up here and most people have a hard time cutting in and the reason is because you have to use the right tools for the job. So let me show you the, the right tools for the job here. The main thing is using the right brush. This brush is specifically made for cutting in and it'll make it much easier. If you try to use a regular brush for cutting in around the edges, it's just gonna be a mess. There's no way to do a good job with a regular brush because it's not designed for that. So as you're using your, your cutting in brush, a couple tips with this is before you start using the brush, wet it first. So uh, what happens is if you don't wet it, the capillary action in between the bristles will suck the paint up into the heel of the brush, making it extremely hard to clean all the paint out. And brushes are kind of expensive, so you want to take good care of them. So wet the brush first, that way the water is what gets sucked up into the heel, and your paint actually stays down near the end. You can see, I've been using this brush for a couple hours now, so it's kind of running down, but uh, you can see here that it's not getting sucked up into the heel. Now, of course, on the other side, I, I was working up overhead, so that's unavoidable. But at least it's going to be a lot easier to clean. The other thing is, use one of these little handy buckets here to uh, hold the paint in. It's got a little handle on the side, make it really easy to work, because most of the cutting in is working overhead, and it can get really tiring really fast. So let me tell you another trick here. So I was cutting in around, around this trim here, and it's got a really rough surface to it. The, the walls have grooves in them, and then the, the trim part has uh, a really rough texture to it. So don't be afraid to use some masking tape. If you've got an area that's going to have a hard edge to it, just put a row of masking tape on there. That'll help you keep a nice sharp edge, because nothing ruins a nice paint job more than sloppy edges. So you need nice, crisp, sharp edges, and it just makes the whole job look so much better. So I ran a row of tape along here. That'll help this thing look a lot cleaner. And one little tip if you're using tape is don't try to cover in one coat. Let, let me see if I can hold this more steady here. Don't try and cover in one coat up against the tape, because then when you peel the tape off, it's going to take some of the paint off with it. So instead, you know, lay down a nice thin coat, let it dry, then come back, lay down another thin coat, and then when you peel your tape off, it'll come off easy. And when you do, let me show you how to do it. I'll just demo this right here. Don't peel it straight off like this. Peel it at an angle like that. That way it'll leave a nice sharp edge on your paint. So those are my little tips here for painting, and I hope that helps you out. This house here is coming along really nicely. Hey, thanks to the sprayer and using the right tools, I'll have this entire two bedroom, one bath house, all painted, looking beautiful by myself in less than two days work. So I hope this helps you. Good luck on your projects. I'm Chuck Vosberg from Next Home. And of course, if you're thinking of buying or selling a home, I hope you'll call Pat and I. My number is 727-743-1740. And Pat, 813-220-4898. Have a great day.